Marco from Nari Media, and today I'm gonna to show you how to build an app, including user interface, everything. No code, you don't need any coding experience. This will be all free. I am gonna be using today Gemini. You can use uh, ChatGBT, I'm gonna switch it up. I always use ChatGBT, so today I'm using Gemini. I'm gonna be using this program called Stitch. This is by Google as well, it's free. All you need is a Gmail account. Same with Gemini, all you need is your Gmail account. So using a free program called Cursor, it's the AI code editor, and once again, you do not need to know any coding. This is simple, free, and we will build this prototype. So where I like to always start is I want to tell Gemini or ChatGBT what I'm doing and I need prompts and I need help to design. This will save us time on the back end. If we kind of know what we want to build and or how we're going to build it, I think about a niche that you like and then ask ChatGBT. I have the prompts, like I said, prompts in another video to break down problems in that niche and let's build a solution. So if you're not solving a problem, then I mean, you can do something for yourself if you want. But a lot of times it's nice to try to solve a problem in a niche that you love. And now with the capability of AI, you can literally build anything. So check this out. I'm gonna build own food app, my own food app where I can put my own recipes, recipes I love, and I'm gonna use uh, my wife's plant-based food blog, vegetarian food blog called SE Cooks. So, hey Gemini, I'm going to be creating an app today, and I'm going to be using Google Stitch for the UI, and then I'm also gonna be using Cursor for the actual creation of the app. But I wanna copy the code from Stitch over to Cursor, and I kinda need uh, some instructions and a prompt for Stitch. I'm gonna be creating a plant-based, vegetarian, vegan food app. So you can see why I start here, because if you go into Stitch in my last tutorial, you can be very basic. You can say, I just want a food app. But this is gonna have a search bar at the top that says find recipe, feature recipe section, recipe collection, latest recipes. All right, so now we head over to Stitch. You can go to Google and just type Google Stitch and it should pop up, or you can go to stitch.withgoogle.com. I'll put the links down below. Let's pop that in here. So step one is you wanna make sure you're on mobile, not web and you pop in the text here and generate design. And just like that, it's starting to build the design here. You look at that, just like that. <laughs> and there you have it. So now I can build out other pages. So what I did here was I said, now can you build out the other pages? Because it created the home page for me. So if I click on the home page here, it had the breakfast, lunch, dinner, quick menus. So when I go over here, I asked it to create all the pages so you can see it broke out every single page, kind of how it looks with the settings, recipe. Now where you get the code is you click on the actual item and you can see you can export to Figma here or you can get the code right here. So you take this and you literally have the code right here. So. Now I'm going to go back to Gemini. You can see what I'm doing here now is just being very simple and telling it what I need. So now I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste the code. You can see it gave me the spot to paste it and we're gonna head over to Cursor. So to get to Cursor, it's just cursor.com. Um, you can install on your MacBook. You will have to install a developer package. It'll prompt you that and then you can run it on your computer for free. Once you're in Cursor, what you can do is you just go open project, you create a folder where you want this to be, where you want the files to reside. So just go open project. Now, if you've never been in Cursor before, here's the text. This is like the text to uh, code creation. So you just type, you just type in whatever you wanna build here and it'll build it. So in the middle window here, you'll see it working and building and over here is where all your files will reside. So right here, we'll paste that in and here is the text. Now, one thing I'm gonna do as well, which I'm gonna try, is let's say you just wanted to kind of take a screenshot of this. Let's just zoom out a little. And I'm 
So you can see you don't need to know how to use code. You're just gonna simply copy and paste everything in here now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. All right, then you just press enter here and it's gonna say absolutely. You can see it's actually breaking out. You can just see it working here, index, homepage, all the styles. It's gonna ask you to approve things here. So there's no coding needing, needed, like I said. You can see uh, it's generating. Now, one of my other tips and tricks is if there's an error, this will solve its own problems. You usually just say try again or take a screenshot. And if there is any other troubleshooting, screenshot it, put it into Gemini, you can put it into ChatGPT and tell them what you're building in cursor and it will be able to troubleshoot. Finished a bunch of the code here, I accepted it and then I asked it to launch this locally. So here's what it's looking like right now. It's not looking exactly the same, but you know, it has the breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, quick meals across the bottom. It has the explore, saved shopping, and it used, it's using some interesting images. You can search here. Um, you can see that Alfredo is gonna show up. You can see it's updating down below. Like um, it's building it a little wider, breakfast, lunch, dinner, pretty cool. Featured recipe, search, latest recipes. So you can see it's kind of, it's rebuilt it now into a functioning app. So this is just the basic, basic, basic way to get from Stitch to <laughs> pretty much a working prototype um, in the basic sense here. These buttons, like I said, you have to build out each of the pages and I could definitely dig a little deeper and start building out the pages, but that's pretty much, I'll show you how to do it really quick, but just go to cursor and now say I need to expand every section, build every page, pop it in here, ask it to create it, accept, 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 and then you will ask it to launch locally on your computer. Like I said, when you install cursor, you do need the development pack, but that's it. Just simple from, from no coding necessary these days. And then you can launch it. Uh, you'll need a server once you do decide to launch it. But yeah, this is just how to run it locally on your own computer. And yeah, hope you guys like and enjoy and have fun building.